everyone, welcome to something brand new I'm trying. Normally I would be playing a game like Soma live. Instead, I'm reviewing it for Kotaku, and so I thought, why not just treat this as a full length, spooking with scoops, let's play. This is the first episode that I'm uh, working through. I'm at the menu screen for Soma. This is the first time that I've booted up the game. This is the first time I'm gonna click new game. We're gonna experience this game together. The plan as I record this is to record my entire playthrough. I guess I will say up front, maybe there's a reason that doesn't happen. Maybe the recording doesn't work as advertised or there's some other glitch or for some reason, I don't know. But my plan up front is because I can't play this game with all of you uh, live, I thought, well, maybe we can kind of find a middle ground and still experience the game together. And I'm even kind of throwing around the idea of streaming the archived videos on Twitch so folks can still be in a chat room and enjoy it as a collective. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and click New Game on Soma, the brand new horror game from the developers of Amnesia, The Dark Descent. They've been working on this for five years. Hopefully it's terrific. Here we go. It's been so long since Amnesia. I'm not sure what to expect from Soma. I've purposely avoided a lot of the coverage of the game. Uh, all I wanted to know was that there's a new game coming from the developers of Amnesia The Dark Descent. And that is, that's all you need for Are me to play okay, the game. Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munchie? Why is there never enough time? For what? Christ. I'm gonna go ahead and switch subtitles on. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Hmm. Already, having played Amnesia of the Dark Descent, it's, you know, <laughs> the uh, fidelity uh, on this five years later is pretty incredible. I mean, Where did I put the tracer fluid? I'm not saying it's the, the best looking game in, in the world, but, um, you know, it's not, not going for PT levels, but I'm just, you know, just go back and look at videos of Amnesia the Dark Descent. It's kind of wild to look at now. Hey, Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you, mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? I got some plaid shirts, so I can relate to this guy, because I'm also someone that wears uh, <laughs> a lot of plaid shirts. <laughs> it's part of being in the video game industry. Plaid shirt club. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? Rotate objects with the D-pad. Can I use that? No. 
More games need to have the feature from Gone Home that allow you to put things back. It bothers me that I pick these things up. And then can't just... I gotta, like, throw it back on the desk. Hmm. Hmm. So obviously we were in an accident as sort of insinuated by the start there. You text using right trigger. Get well soon. So obviously I've had some brain trauma. I can't remember the exact dialogue that happened before, but it seemed to be insinuating that maybe I am having nightmares about this incident. Cinema variety, some are blockbusters. Massive Recoil 2, Flawless Execution. I'd see that movie. Some lenses. Can't do anything with that. Ooh, that's a slick way of walking up to a computer. Thank you for participating in our research. Oh, I forgot to hit send. It's weird because the setup for this game is that there's you're underwater and there are underwater monsters. So <laughs> I'm like not I don't see where this is going yet. I don't think that an underwater expedition would be signing on f to bring on a uh, a man with brain damage. I guess we'll see. Better late than never. Alright. Can't interact with the rest of the OS. Grimoire presents Rob McDonald. Seems like a real photo of someone's feet. I wonder if that's Thomas Grip, the developer. That appears to be artist rendering. That's Mixture of real photos and not. Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. All right. Is that... I was trying to see if maybe... Kind of looks like an X Xbox. Oh, Massive Recall. Obviously, I'm just a... Fan of the massive revo massive <laughs> blah, 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 massive recoil franchise. That's fine. That seems like, like I said, I could relate. To open doors and containers first, interact with them. And push and pull using right stick. I figured that already. Can zoom things in. What is that? Mm, ah, mm, mm, mm. Pan pizza. I've already checked all this stuff. Maybe it's in the fridge. Nothing but fast food. I should buy something healthier in my way. Dude, home. you this guy loves Italian food. I don't know what that is. Can I actually make that out? Probably not. Alright, I'll just drop that on top of the pizza. Who keeps a soda? There's nothing in it. You just keep in the cup? Disgusting, Simon. Get your shit together. Hmm. Flowers for funeral. So the funeral hasn't happened yet. Okay. 
turn on this light. Ooh, makes like everything all fancy now. Okay, got my keys. Can't can I put on these socks? Nope, I can pick them up though. Eating a lot of fast food. That is not like me. I'm not a fast food guy. I mean, I'll have it occasionally when you don't have options. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Weep. Some nice lighting. Makes me terrified of what might be hiding <laughs> whenever uh, things get going. Can I use any of these things? Well, doesn't seem like the game distinguishes between things you can pick up and use. So I just kind of like knock shit all over the ground here. Okay, here's the question. Can you use the toilet? Oh! Five stars. I know the Kotaku doesn't do five stars, but if they did, by being able to use the toilet, it would already have earned its five stars. I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. Oh, I haven't found whatever it is I'm looking for. I looked in all of these. Be up here, I don't think. Oh, bending the light. Well, let's see if I try and leave. What happens? I guess it could be in these drawers too. I didn't check them. I really should drink the tracer fluid before I go see Dr. Munchie. Well, that requires me finding the tracer fluid, my friend. If I was Simon Barrett, or whatever this man's name is, where would I put my tracer fluid? There it is. Oh. Well, <laughs> speak of the devil. To use an object you've acquired, press right trigger when the item is displayed on screen. Alright. Yep, bottoms up. That seems delicious. Here, I'll join you. Feels like milk, but the taste mm. it's like sucking on a penny. Delicious. And we're off to the races. So like I mentioned up front, uh, clearly the setup here is not quite what I was expecting. I didn't think I was going to be in the real world. Or at least, you know, on a New York submarine or a subway. I don't know if this is Osgood. Is that New York? I don't know. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? I uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Working the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well... Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Oh, St. Patrick. Ominous sign. And the game is explicitly calling me out as soon as I'm playing. Hello? Dr. Munchie? Uh... Who goes to a... 
doctor's office. Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. Oh, I'm in Canada. Okay. Or, or, they just like waving Canadian flags. I suppose that is also entirely possible. Can I use this? Oh man, this game is full of interactivity. Yeah, let's go ahead and just use the uh, doctor's computers. This is strange. Alright, I guess none of those papers are worth me checking out. What about that? It's down there. Let's move this out of the way. Nothing? Def, tweak for right length. Improved reverse projector technique. I'm not sure what any of that means. Trial and error. Put your scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. Hmm. So, okay, obviously we're getting a lot of, sort of like brain things that are going on here. The idea of the brain fracturing. Maybe that's going to be the setup for how we find ourselves in a horror show full of underwater monsters. Hmm. All right, so we got these two doctors who maybe have a uh, experimental technique oh this is the place right it must be let's just call Machi real quick great got his phone turned off that's okay I can figure this out okay basic puzzle 101 where did they write down the uh... okay so you can't do it in email or text Turn that light on and off, which is useful, I suppose. Right, he said we can find I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. So we're now we're looking for a note. I guess that would that have been in here? Maybe it's oh maybe I missed it. Two five oh one? Let's try that. Aha. Go ahead and break into this office. Press no left trigger wall. Get into the first aid kit. I'm probably going to need it. Come on, I know I'm playing a horror game. Phases, transformation rate, overview, conversions. Someone's coughing. Rain scans. What's this drink? Jaws? Got a needle? No, nope, that's just okay. But I can toss it. Good luck finding your mouse. 
That's what you get for not being here when I'm supposed to. I came on time. I did my part. Whoop, whoop. Alright, I guess nothing in here. Or, I got. It's less creepy when you turn on the lights. I suppose that makes sense. What, lights, uh, inspecting the vertebrae in your spine? Brain scans, big computer, lots of panels, the nervous system. Let's go investigate that cough. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Oh. Interesting. So the conceit of this game is going to be that in order to work out your brain, fixing your brain, what, you go through a... So what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, nothing else to talk about. Which I wonder if that... Oh. You know I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. If you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. I really hope you're right about this. Me too. This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. So, what do you say? Should we get going? Sure. Let's get started. Take a seat. Well, hold on to your butts. Or rather, I should hold on to my butt, as the case may be. Oh, that's not... Mm -hmm. Yep, okay, it's not unsettling. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version six. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh, Stay he, he's full of so many jokes. Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? This isn't funny. Weird. Okay. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in... The 
This is kind of stressing me out. Omni tool chip installer. Hey! Anyone? It's definitely not the consoles that I was in in the room before. And those are suits. Get here. I need an Omni tool. Weird. Some sort of growth happening. Terminal from service console. Hmm. The blood on the floor is ominous. It's just growth everywhere. Toolbox. Open the toolbox. Hmm. Hold left button while hold, holding an object to throw it. Get out. I feel like this guy should be freaking out just a little bit more right now. I mean, he does appear to be on a station of some sort and not <laughs> where his doctor was. Expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comp center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we leave enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. How did I do that? Yes, that's the first question you should be asking yourself. Gross. Comb. All right. Not everything is messed up here. Some things are still relatively normal. Different kind of fridge. Whoop. Curry mix. Wait, are these all food? Rice, spinach, dried beef, miso. Noodles. Can I put them in here? Oh. I suppose I could have put it in there back when it worked. So this is like some kind of break room. Home is a state of mind. I feel like that picture was in my bedroom. I feel like that was definitely the case. Can't use that. Well, what kind of writing did that have? 
Japanese, huh? Chinese? Asian characters, anyway. Doesn't appear to be a button to use this toilet. At least it already proved it was possible before. Seems like the reason that that was shut was for a reason. I wonder if it was to keep me out? Oh, it's locked too. Okay. Bond to them. That kind of messes with. Them. Oh, Jesus! God damn! What the hell? Gone. Crouch. Oh. Alright, I'm starting to feel myself sweat. Took a little while for the setup, but okay. Now we're in it. All the stuff. I need some sort of tool. Huh. 
Haimatsu. Alright, so we're definitely getting a setup of whatever corporation is in charge. Let's go ahead and shut that door. Whew. And lock me uh, lock me inside somewhere that I don't know if it's any better. Alright, Omnitool. Omnitool is an advanced interface for accessing and managing controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors. So here's going to be my multi-purpose whatever tool. Take the screwdriver. Inventory. Oh, I do. Oh. So inventory is just that little thing at the bottom. Interesting. There's a lock on there. guy's head go? Why isn't my character commenting on it at all? Ugh. Gross. Ah, stop knocking into things. It's just freaking me out. Stop it! Probably should be crouching again. Shutting a door does. We're 
<laughs> talking about a room in which I've broken the window, but whatever. Insert Omni tool to access. Oh. Alright, here we go. This is it. We're about to beat the game. That was as scary as it gets. It's all over. Console up to three, including pilot seat activated. Hmm. Emergency systems. Thirteen days remaining. Whoop. Simon Jarrett. Terminal scan. Authorized David Munchie. So that is still connected to the outside of world. Welcome back, Louise Murin. Okay. Toolchip not inserted. Currently serviced by the default onboard intelligence help with Jane. Note that installing a Cortex chip will override the helper may severely alter your user experience. Whoops. Okay. All right. So let's just calm down there, buddy. Uh, toolbox. Orientation. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pesos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running. But there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock down the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Well, I'll just come to your office. You can let me know why does it I appear to be in this creepy place full of blood? All right, so it's just this is just this one. All right. Tool chip found. Manage tool chip. Woo! Upgrade that firmware on that tool chip. Or, I guess, on the Omni tool. With the tool chip. Tool chip security cipher updated. Alright. So, I guess that gives me additional access. Oh, buddy. What is that? That is nonsense. Wait. Oh, I feel like there might be some words in there that I can't read. Those are too fast. Hmm. I must reference pilot. Am I a pilot? That's open now. I feel like I might have missed something back where I came from. I want to make sure there wasn't something all the way over on the around the corner and to the right. Let's go back to crawling along the ground again.
go underneath it. areas ended up connecting. Alright. <sighs> Deep breaths. Doors open and close automatically. Oh, what? Oh, I thought something was breathing. No, nope, that's just the weird, creepy machinery. Oh, here we go. I feel like I should just be crawling at all times. That's what I do in these games. Play Alien Isolation. And you just move along the ground. Because why should you stand? What's running again? Uh, left trigger? Okay. Alright, so here's the reveal that we're underwater, I guess. It's interesting to see the couple of ways the game is trying to address having uh, diaries. Um, so in Amnesia the Dark Descent, you spent a lot of time reading people's notebooks and sc scrawling things down. And So Upsilon, is Upsilon the name of the, like an AI? Or is it the name of the sh structure we're in? Uh, but that... Uh, Soma seems to be trying to address that in a couple of different ways, like that you have some sort of psychic connection or ability to draw things out, which, you know, is the game's way of saying, look, we really want to have these things. Um, but how do we end up incorporating them in a way that's a little more organic than just having people leave nonsense diaries? Like, I think the idea with the data buffer is just that the uh, the world which is obviously all digitized would be recording that stuff anyway and then you as the player are just able to tap into it and, and listen to what uh, some of the last things that were said So much of this dripping goo. It also sounds like it's breathing.
Ah, shit. What was that? It, it doesn't hurt anymore. Um. Hmm. Is the idea that there are these? I'm not sure I'm buying into this general premise so far. Like, am I just going around avoiding creepy monsters and trying to find node parts to repair my brain? Creepy attics, that just seems like a great idea. It's not like I saw something crawl away ten minutes ago. Station control. That seems like a reasonable place to go. Let's follow these wires. That can't lead to anything bad, right? Gosh. It's hard to tell are these people? It had been morphed. I know that there were some folks who got, saw that one guy with his head cut off. Hey, can you hear me? Jesus, is that person alive somehow? I can do that doesn't involve pulling out that other thing. Don't touch the structure. Gel leakage. I want to say that's become a lot worse of a problem, my friend. I think it's gone beyond whatever happened. Oh, I think the only thing I can do is touch that.
actually think, so a little uh, tidbit, I believe this was a section of the game that I played through over two years ago. A year ago? Year, year and a half ago. GDC, not this year, because I didn't go this year. GDC last year. I remember this sort of warehousey section. I don't remember anything about it, but I do remember existing. Manual boot sequence. Okay, doesn't seem like I can. Oh. Do I have to wait? Alright, so one. Then maybe I wait for the green. Two. Three. Business. Stations. Portugal offline. Spain offline. Delta offline. Theta oh, offline. What is, what, what's happening? Hello? Is there anyone there? Hey, hey, can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, Absalon, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it was it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you? Oh, so, oh, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, uh, uh some place dealing with electrical power. I, I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look. This place is not. There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Alright, I guess that seems reasonable. And now we've got another human out there. C human? I don't... I suppose it could be one of these weird talking robots. Uh, but with that, before we head into the furnace, I'm going to bring this first uh, episode to an end. I'm going to keep playing so that I can go ro you know, right into the second episode. But, oh, I should look over there where the actual camera is. But uh, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Hopefully you've enjoyed uh, me and my sort of raw reactions to Soma as we work uh, our way through it. As I work my way through it and you watch it, which is, then becomes a Wii. So uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Please uh, enjoy it. Please tell your friends. Uh, and the next episode will be up real soon. I'm not really sure what the schedule is going to be. I'm putting out these episodes, whether it'll be one a week or more frequent. I'm going to kind of work that stuff out uh, and kind of go uh, once I get closer to actually putting these episodes out. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for episode two of uh, Spook with Scoops. A Soma, as we continue to find out what the, what the hell happened here.